All right, so in this tutorial, we are going to create this hover effect in Framer. Now, if we look closely, what is happening here is when we hover over the text, this white color of the text appears from left to right. And also at the same time, the image also gets revealed. And when we move our cursor out of the text, the animation goes backwards. All right. So let's create the animation. Well, I'm going to show you in two ways to do that. One is manual way. One is by using the component that I have created. Both are components, but one is code based custom component. Another one is a manual component that we are going to create. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a new page. And over here, I'm start writing text. So this is the style is perfect. This is what we want. If you don't have this time, just you need to come over here and um, change the style of the text for the initial style of your hover effect. Then I'm going to duplicate it. And I'll give it a white color, which is the hover state and then I'll convert it into a frame. All right. Let me remember as yes, text. Cool. So select the text. I'll give it a set index value of three. And this text should have a set index value of two. Right. Because remember, the text appears on top of the image. So we're going to give later on a Z index value of 1 to the image. All right. So now I'm going to select both of it and convert it in a stat. And we fit content and come to this text and make the position absolute. At this point, I want this setup. That's fine. And for the adventure, as this is absolute positioning, is at the center, I'll make sure that it starts from the beginning. Zero back. Right? Now I'll select the start and rename it as main writer. And then bring the start at the center of the screen. And then I'll convert it as a component by pressing down Option Command K. Cool. So we are in the component view. Now, this is our primary variant. Now, we want a hover variant, right? So, this is our forward. So, on the primary, which is the initial state, we don't want this white color. So, I'm just going to go to text and make the value zero over here. It's going to go from the hover. So, we need to come back to hover variant and then select our text and put the initial value, which was 501, maybe. Right, so now it's time to work with the transition. I will just go with a linear transition. You can go with any kind of transition you want. So 0.5 seconds. Now let's see if it works. We hover, move our cursor out. The animation is happening just the way we want it, right? Cool. Now it's time to work with the image and there are some tricks here to work with image in order to have that reveal animation. So for that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a frame. And now I'll give 400 the width and 200 um, in the height and select an image from Unsplash. Let's go with this one. Cool. And I'll rename it as M. Now it's time to wrap this image into another file. So, mold and pump. And the end. And in order to make sure the reveal animation happens, we need to wrap it again inside another frame. But this time I'll go with a stack. So, option command and tap. It has H. 
Now I'll cut it and place it here. I change the position from relative to absolute, right? And then I also want it to be at the mid of the screen. And I want it from the left side. And I'll keep 400 value over here so that it pushes the image, the stack, the image is tab at the right side, right? Now I'll just push it down and what we want here, we want to make the overflow facing. Cool. Now let's come back to our image and change some value over here so it goes away from the screen. Now we what we want here, we want to make the width zero, but it's gonna take one automatically. We're gonna work on it later. And here we want the width to be 400, right? Cool, y'all let's see if it works. Yeah. It works, but there's some problem here because of this slight one width value of one width, right? So we're gonna work on that. So this is absolute positioning, that's fine. This one is relative, that's fine. So what we want, we want, and also we, we, if we check it, this frame is at the mid of the screen. So what we want from the stack, the distribution of its child component, we're going to select start so that it is not at the middle of the screen. The frame is starting from the beginning of the stack. Cool. And here we're going to make, as the frame is selected, we're going to make the value of the width zero here. Right? So it goes away. Here, what we want, we want to say a value 400. That's fine. But still, we have this image. Now, we need to see where is this image. So this image is here aligning at the center. Now, what we want, we want like it to be slightly the right side. So to have that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to select it, this minus 399 value of here. Which is going to push the image here. Right? And as we are changing the primary variant, the hover also gets changed. So for this one, I don't want that. I'll just select a line. So let's see here what is happening. There is a slide white color here, which is the fill color of this stack. So we're going to remove it. And we still see the white color. That is the fill color of this frame. Now we still see a slight value of the image. But I'll do minus 400. So it goes away. Why? So if you see now, where is this image? This image is here. Because there is a one value of the frame, that's why. So we put the same value, but in minus, right? Cool. So now if we see it, we hover over, the image gets revealed, go back. Yeah, we hover out, we move our cursor out, it goes back, right? Cool. So this is what we wanted. Now it's time to use the component. So we're definitely going to use another one here, but if we duplicate it, you see there is nothing over here. So we need to make some changes, keep some value over here. So we're going to come over here. We can select the initial text and create a variable. Plain text, in case I made it just text. Right. And we are going to select the hover text and create menu item which is the name of this component and we are going to select text from here so it remains the same you 
provide only one input and it gets it gets changed in two places, right? Cool. We also want the initial color. So initial color on a variable. We'll make it initial color. Cool. And I'm gonna select this text. Let's change it to create variable to over color. Right? Cool. And we also need to change the image. So we come over here, select the image, give it a fill of image, create a variable of image. Cool. We have it. Now, what else we can do here is we can provide this transition. So create variable transition so that user can select. Right? You can have different kind of transition for different menu items. Now, if we go back to a page, you see we have this option. So I'll just write creativity, maybe creativity, yeah. And I'll change the initial color here now. Well, let's go with something else. Like initial color is fine. Let's change the hover color to make it something blue. We can change the image. So I can go with this one just for demonstration purpose and we also can change the transition so I'll go with this kind of transition 100 and yeah that's it that's it we have this one we move move our cursor out it goes away and for this one we have remember we set the blue color so yeah and this is it. Cool. And the transition is also different. Now it's time to see how to use the component that I created. So if you don't want to go with the manual approach, just drag and drop this component here. It's going to give you this text, which is like this. But as it is selected, you can see we can work on the size and the style and everything, every other thing. But remember, by this approach, you're going to get only linear transition because that's how I wrote the code. All right, so I'm just going to go with this one and change the initial color to this. Change the whole color to here. Now, somehow it shows it like this, but when you play it, you get to see it appears, right? And also control the duration of it. It, all right. Look, this is happening. But I think this is a problem of framer because I, I don't believe it's a problem of the code base I wrote. Because if I close it and reopen the project, I get to see what I wrote. So yeah, now it's time just it's time to work on the image the same way we worked on this component here. So you can just bring the image over here, convert it as a new component. And that's pretty simple to do. So yeah, this was it. Um, you can use this whole effect to showcase your projects or even to show menu items. So yeah, this was it. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll catch you up in the next one. Yeah.